friends well there it is I think that's the final layout now as most of you know I have been putting this through my head for gosh forever now trying to figure out how exactly I was gonna do these barrels because of the fruit cage if I put the barrels here with an opening there then it kind of closes off the fruit cage and makes it feel like something it's not this fence right here this temporary fence that's exactly what this is it's temporary this thing is coming out <clears throat> i want it to be open and not have i mean the fruit cage is going to have a wall on it a barrier itself so my thought is well if i just continue this across into the fruit cage then i'll have a barrier so that would be that would be good so then this kind of opens it up where the compost pile is right now uh that area there is going to be my shed. I'm going to build a little cute shed. Um, the, uh, the door is going to be right next to this barrel. I, I, I think it's either going to be right next to this barrel facing that way, or it's going to be in the front here facing, you know, on the side. And then my windows are in front of it. I think I, I'm not a hundred percent. Um, but I think it's starting to come together. So, now what I'm going to do is I got all of these barrels that need to be filled. And as you can see, we both, we cut the holes in the bottoms. Tornado! Tornado! Uh, cut the holes in the bottoms, cut the holes in the tops with Coda's help. Thank you, Coda. Appreciate it, buddy. Yay! You are definitely a lot of help because without him there, man, it was spinning. I couldn't, like couldn't this. control it. Yeah. So, um, so now to fill it, we are going to fill them with a bunch of old wood. Um, sifted wood chips. I got a bunch of wood chips here, as you can see. I want to sift through it, get all the good, fine tilt compost out. I'm, I'm trying to record, bud. Hold on. Um, get all the, the good stuff out that's broken down, and then that can go on the garden, and then everything else will go in the barrels. It will settle eventually, but I'm probably going to do a third, uh, probably two thirds of the way up, fill them, and then the rest of it is going to be real good compost, real good soil for growing in. It will settle and it'll go down eventually. The reason I put the holes in the bottom, a couple things. One, the worms can come up from underneath the ground and eat and chew on all that decaying and rotting wood that's down in the bottom. Kind of acts like a hugel culture, if you will, um, where it retains the moisture and the fungal matter and that kind of thing. So pretty cool. Anyways, I didn't want to come rambling on, um, but uh, yeah. I would bring you along here. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Uh, I, yeah, this is not the same day as before. I just happen to be my favorite shirt. So um, <laughs> if I could have a favorite shirt that said Graham's World TV on it, we'd be good to go. But uh, anyways, tomorrow is Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day to everybody. Um, I hope everyone is doing good and they're able to take part in the festivities or whatever you guys do on Memorial Day. And uh, the garden's coming along, as you can see. Um, just a real quick little view and tour here. Um, the uh, Brussels sprouts or uh, plants are looking good. The tomatoes in between them are looking really good. My onions are looking really good. They perked up. I'm very happy. I'm kind of halfway through weeding. I've, I've got, of course, to do some more weeding in them. Which is kind of, um, it's kind of hard on the back and time, uh, time sensitive, not time sensitive, what's that word I'm looking for, time, it takes time. But I'm in here weeding and doing that, those tomatoes, 
They're really, really small. But uh, I think they'll catch up. I think they're going to be fine. Um, what did she have in here? She had, uh, what was this, cucumbers? Is that what it is? Yeah, two different kinds of cucumbers growing in here. They, they look like they're starting to come up. Um, some broads, a couple of broccoli. Most of this is not doing very well. Now, this is, remember, the non-sifted wood chips from this post here over to that line is non-sifted. So these will all be re, this bed or area here will be re-sifted next year, um, either in the fall or in the spring um, after I get everything out of it. And we are re-sifting and going through all these wood chips and uh, this organic matter that's coming out of it. Um, now this, this stuff did not have compost on it last year. It's just sifted, sifted stuff and it's looking great. And this is basically what I think we're going to end up getting out of the wood chips underneath the, uh, oh, what's it called? Yeah, that fruit cage. I had to look at it and then I'm bad. Um, okay, so Carolina Reaper plants, they died off. And then they're starting to grow again. So they're doing all right. The um, nasturtiums from Babs, a really small leaf. <laughs> That's okay. They'll, they'll recover. And the, the zucchini um, is coming back. It died off a little bit. Now it's coming back again. And the um, there's the three plants here. This one I think is dead. I don't think it's coming back. Although there's one little green leaf on it. So we'll let it be for a bit. And then they got this guy and this guy. These guys are... Looks like they're starting to come back or trying to. And that one's definitely doing really good. Yay. Uh, these are all of my uh, pole beans. And uh, she planted a bunch of them all the way along the, the edge there with that wood. And they're gonna climb, of course, up this fence. At least that's the plan. Um, I've actually never grown climbing beans before. Now, there's a lot of weeds in here, but that asparagus is looking great. So we're gonna keep watering it and keep it up. And then in the fall, after it dies back, I'm gonna layer um, a good inch of compost on top. And uh, hopefully uh, all these little babies will come up next year. So we'll see. But yeah, lots of weeds, lots and lots of weeds. I just haven't had a whole lot of time, you know, guys, it's just been crazy around here. Um, but the rose bush, the old wild looking antique slash grandma's rose bush is looking amazing. I've got some suckers down at the bottom I'm going to take off because I don't want it to be this huge mass. I want to be able to get in here and garden in these, in these this tire and that barrel. So got to keep it under control at least a little bit. So yeah, uh, work to do. Yeah, lots of it. Um, I did come across, um, oh, this is new information for the wife. She'll probably get it here uh, first. But I did come across a, um, a uh, um, concrete mixer. It's a Harbor Freight concrete mixer. Now, I went online to Harbor Freight to see how much they wanted for one. And it was like, what was it, 100 and, I think it's 175 bucks or something, 150 bucks. Um, so, anyways, I came across a guy. He needs a tune-up. Uh, came across a guy that had one. Uh, he's had it for a few years now. And um, I asked him if he plans on getting rid of it or if he plans on using it. And he's like, well, no, I don't have any plans for it. Uh, how much are they going for nowadays? And I was like, well, about 150 bucks. He's like, all right, give me 75 bucks. It's yours. Okay. So here in a couple of weeks... Uh, I'll be getting a hold of one of those. For right now, I'll be sifting all of this by hand, um, which is good. I need to remember what a pain in the butt this is because when I get this thing, it's going to be great. Uh, I've got a 55-gallon uh, barrel over there. It's got holes in it already. We're going to put some uh, mesh in it, the half-inch mesh. And uh, we'll be sifting wood chips and compost with this thing. So I'm really, really super excited. And then that way I don't have to do it by hand. All I gotta do is shovel it into the, the trum trummel, 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 whatever. Shove it in there and then it'll separate it on its own. And 
it'll be great. It'll be nice. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, lots of work to do still. And that's the thing, you know, is I think once the structure is in place, I think everything's going to be fine. I think it's just getting the, the, the groundwork in, getting the structure in. I mean, there's always going to be weeding, but there's not always going to be, you know, um, building barrels or filling barrels with, with dirt and stuff. Oh, look at this. Isn't that a pretty rose? I have this thing. I love roses. I absolutely love them. But I love the old-fashioned rose, like this one and the one over there. There's something about an old-fashioned rose that just, gosh, it's just beautiful. And this isn't even my rose. This is the neighbor's rose that grew up, <laughs> up underneath the, uh, up underneath the, the fence there. Oh, look, and a whole new run here. This is cool. So, looks like it's getting some sort of fungal thing going on, though. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm turning this into a vlog now. I'm going to be careful. I don't want to... I love you all to death. I don't need to be here all day. I got to get these filled and get start putting stuff in them. So, but one job done. Now I can fill them, and that that makes me really really happy. Um, I'm gonna end up taking this compost pile apart, I think, and uh, here uh, probably one of the next garden projects after I get these filled and start figuring out uh, my shed and get that kind of in place. Uh, it's going to be kind of a shed greenhouse kind of thing, so hopefully it'll work out. Uh, I am thinking about hooking up an air conditioner um, to the, the outside wall over here, and then uh, that way, um, when it's heat of the summer, I can have it air conditioned. I'm going to have it insulated really well and stuff too, but yeah. All right, you guys. There's a lot going on. There's so much going on. There. You got bumblebees. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see the bumblebee? He's in there somewhere. Can you see him? There are bees pollinating. And this is my raspberry bush. It's gone absolutely crazy. He found a flower. There he is. So cutie. All right. So that's it. That's it for me here in the garden. You have anything to say? Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. A like and a subscribe. And ring that bell notification thingy. Yeah, bell notification thingy. Yeah. <laughs> Follow All right. my friend Allie on TikTok at Allie's World. No way. Not Allie. Yeah, Allie, my best friend. Okay. All right. Bye for now. I'm going to give my outro. Bye for now. All right, y'all. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye for now. What's mom say? Boom, boom. Toodles. Bye-bye.